Alex Beeman with Cape Side Press, and I'm here with Danielle Taylor, who returns to action on August 27th against Emily Dakota for the vacant Invictus Strawweight title. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Just finished training earlier. Nice. What'd you, uh, what'd you train today? Uh, I just worked on pad work with uh, my striking coach, so we're just drilling. He's draining me out, the usual morning grind. Um, you're six days out. How are you feeling? I feel good. Uh, weights on point. I like I, this time around. Well, I usually like to diet down. So diet's been super clean and I feel like this is going to be one of my easiest cuts. So that's, that's, that's awesome to hear. Do you cut a lot of weight? No, I don't like when I'm like at a camp, it's usually like I walk around one thirty, but then as I start really training, it like drops immediately. <laughs> like one twenty six, twenty five. 25. Um, I, I did want to talk about your last fight with uh, Jessica Aguilar. Um, how good did it feel to get back into the cage, you know, and then get a win over a, like a longtime vet like that? It felt amazing. I just, I know with the whole COVID and everything, I just want to be back in there and to finally get the opportunity. I jumped on it. It was, it was beautiful. And I've, I've been waiting to get back in there and I know things have been getting pushed back, but I'm, I'm excited and I can't wait for the 27th. Um, if, if you could take one thing away from that fight, what, what would it be? Mm, I take one thing away. I don't know. I feel like, uh, I guess just a little bit more aggression. I felt like I started a little slow in the beginning, especially the first round. So you gotta wake up faster. <laughs> um, was it hard to find, find a fight during the pandemic? Um, and I guess, did, or, or, or did you just enjoy your kind of like enjoy your layoff? No, um, it was tough. It was like fights that were scheduled, got pushed back, canceled, venue problems. And so it, it's like, it's no point in being upset over it because I can't control the situation. Just keep training, keep grinding, you know? So when the opportunity does come about and I'm able to fight again, you know, you just appreciate it even more. Um, so you, your, your last fight was in XMMA. Why'd you choose to go back to Invicta? Well, I've always wanted to be the Invicta champion, you know, and I know they're going to keep me active. I want to win this belt and just, just keep capitalizing. You know, I want a promotion that's going to keep me busy. Of course, of course. Fighters fight. Yes. <laughs> um, so they come with you, they come to you with the name Emily Dakota. Um, what, what were your thoughts on that matchup? I thought it was perfect. You know, I know she has her experience. She fought for Bellator, so another big promotion. So I feel like we're going to put on a very exciting fight, give the audience something, you know, it's going to be on pay-per-view. So I think everybody's going to be very pleased. How do you like the matchup? I like it. Uh, when I saw the name, I looked her up. I was like, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Sign me up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's on, on, on paper, it should be just an amazing fight. Um, do you have a prediction for the fight? Um, I'm going to throw it all out there. I'm just going to fucking bang. If it goes to the ground, hey, I'm a fucking throw. It. Sorry, excuse my language. I'm going to be super aggressive and uh, handle business. You know, I've been itching to get back in there. So. That's awesome. Do, do you want to stay? I mean, you kind of already said it, but you, you want to stay active? Yes, 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 yes. That, I feel like that's the key. If you have too long of layoffs, you start to get that ring rust, you know, especially coming off a of victory, you want to capitalize. You want to get back in there. It's like, boom, the fire's lit. Let's go. So let's say you win the title. Um, what does Dynamite want next? I mean, do you want to, do you want to defend the belt? Do you want to get back to the UFC? Do you want to go to Bellator? what's the kind of game plan well after winning the belt like I feel like I'll defend it I don't care whatever comes my way I'm not going to turn it down you know I want to be the Invicta champion that's my main focus it's like I don't like to reach too far ahead you know I like set little goals accomplish them and then move forward for sure for sure um finally I just want I did want to ask about Whaley Zhang I mean you were her UFC debut. Um, I guess kind of reflect on that fight. I mean, did you did you have any idea that I mean, she would become champion and just be, like become this superstar? Well, she she was a tough chick, you know. But I felt like I took her punches, 
Like we went to the ground, you know, that's freaking awesome that she was able to become the champion, all that. And I could say, yeah, I went against her first and, you know, she didn't put me out and I felt like I should have put her out, but Hey, you never know. Maybe I could get that opportunity again soon. Totally. 100%, 100%. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to uh, speak with me. If you um, want to uh, shout out your sponsors, shout out your social media, the floor is yours. Um, I would like to shout out to uh, my management, Upgrade Management. Thank you so much. Um, sponsorships, uh, Ten Show. Thank you for sending me gear, backing me, helping me out through camp. Um, and my Instagram's Dynamite Taylor One. Check it out. <laughs>